All right, the first thing we'll be doing is installing Hacks Home Assistant Community Store. Hacks gives you a powerful UI to handle downloads of all your custom needs. This is front end Lovelace, as well as integrations by the community for the community. So let's crack into it and download it and configure it. Click on downloads, prerequisites, the only prerequisite you use, you require a terminal the way we'll be doing it. Let's click on downloads and select this command, control C. Go to your home assistant, to your terminal, and you'll, be, you'll hold down control, shift, and V, and press enter. This will download it and install it. Next, what you'll do is go to settings, correction, go to developer tools, check configuration and ensure it will not prevent from starting. Click on the restart button, advance and reboot your system. Once the reboot has finished, we're going to go to settings, go to device and services. On the integration tab, we're going to go add integration and type in HACS and click on it. We are going to acknowledge all the radio buttons and click submit. Next, what it's going to ask is a authentication via GitHub. So we'll open up this link and copy this code. You're going to paste it into here and click continue. Once you have authenticated and click submit, it's going to say congratulations, you're all set. Your device is now connected. Now let's go back into Home Assistant. And the integration has successfully authenticated and configured. Let's click on finish. To confirm it, you can click on hacks. And as you can see, it opens up with no issues. Next, we'll be installing Has Agent. Has Agent is a Windows-based client companion app for Home Assistant. It allows Home Assistant to control some of your variables and um, pull sensors from your Windows-based computer. So what you want to do is go installation and download the uh, latest installer and give it an install. Once it's been installed, you'll get the has agent configuration. If it hasn't loaded automatically, double click on it to load. What you want to do is go down to controls and click on configuration. What you want to do is give it a device name. The rest can be default. And we'll go down to home assistant API. Your server ID will be HTTPS uh, semicolon forward slash your IP semicolon 8123 if not changed and we're going to generate an API key to give it access. So to generate an API key what you want to do is go to your home, assi uh, home assistance instance and click on your user. Scroll down and you want to create token. Let's give it a name. and click OK. You'll be given a um, a key, a token. So you want to copy that. You want to go back to your has agent configuration and you want to paste the code. Next, what you want to do is test your, con test your connection to make sure it is communicating with Home Assistant. and click OK if it's successful. Next, we'll go down to local API. Ensure it's clicked on enable, default port, and click on execute port reservation. It's going to set a firewall rule and test it as well. Next, what we want to do is go to MQTT. 
the IP will be your server name and your port will be default 1883 unless you have changed it. So to verify what your port is, if we go to settings and click on add-ons and click on mosquito broker, configuration and scroll down. Normal, M normal MQTT is what we're looking for and verify the port is the same. The rest can be left default. Um, what we want to do is create a username and a password. So what we're going to do is we'll go down to settings, scroll down to people, add person, give it a name. We're going to click on allow person to log in. Give it a password. Can only log in from the local network and click create. Click on create and your account has been created. Next, we'll go back to our configuration. We're going to give the username we just created and the password. Next, we'll go down to startup and we're going to ensure it startups on logon. What we're going to do is click on save configuration. What you want to do is restart your has agent after any configuration has been done. I'm going to click no. So that is the initial configuration. Next, we'll go into providing some sensors and linking it to our home assist, home assistance. Have a look at what sensors are available and what commands we have uh, already integrated as part of the has agent. So if we click on sensors and click on add new, these are some of the sensors which the PC can send to home assistant to monitor or utilize as a trigger. For example, if you're utilizing a mining rig for cryptocurrency, you can set a GPU load. If the GPU load is not 90, uh, between 90% or 100% and is lower, it will send you a notification so you can investigate why. Alternatively, you can look at the monitor power state so you can trigger your monitor to trigger other devices such as lights if turned on and then commands so the two commands i'm currently using is the monitor wake up and the monitor sleep buttons which would trigger my screen to turn on as well as trigger a light when i move my chair out of this out of the um table Then if we go into settings, integrations, and under MQTT, click on devices and click on your PC we just added. So as you can see, I've got two controls here, <coughs> excuse me, that when pressed, it will put my monitor to sleep and when pressed, it will wake it up. In my next video, I will go through an automation that will utilize our um, controls from our PC via has agent into our home assistant. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you'll see in the future. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.